this is a bathroom which we're thinking about renting out as an efficiency because it's so fucking big. Human I'll take guy. it. <laughs> Liam's gonna live here. <laughs> What's going on guys? So we're gonna do a tour of my unfinished office. That's the name for this video we just came up with. Like I always wanted to have an office and do like a lot of cool stuff to it, but like that takes kind of mental energy and it takes like having to go buy stuff when I'd rather just work. So we just threw like desks in there and we're like, all right, let's just work. We'll, we'll make it cool later. It's minimalistic. Yeah. yeah it's so yesterday I went to go drop off uh, the G-Wagon and they gave me this E350. So this is the car that I'm driving right now. I literally feel like a mom driving this car. The cool thing about the office is that uh, it's a mile away from where I live. So I used to live with my parents and I worked out of a room out of their house for like a really long time. And then I moved out on my own and we got an off and then we worked out of my house mm -hmm. so we worked out of where i lived for a really long time too it was basically not even an apartment it was just like a um, like an office that i would sleep in basically <laughs> like then we moved into a co-working space in coral gables which is about uh probably like 20 minutes away from my house 20 to 30 minutes depending on the traffic which again not bad for a commute but i would like it if it was <laughs> nothing <laughs> yeah so um and then and now we're, we're in Wynwood so the office is in Wynwood which is about one mile away from where I live and Ricky uh which is one of my like the head people that I work with he lives 0 0.2 miles away so oh, he shit. dude he walks there it's like so funny it's crazy because before I used to think oh you know what like I'll never get an office like I'll just work remotely my whole life and I'll just hire people remotely and I will never have a use or a need for an office ever because it's a waste of money and we're in 20, I don't know, 19, whenever I thought that, <laughs> 2018. <laughs> but it's crazy as your business grows, how like you start realizing like, oh shit, maybe I do need an office. And, and maybe like every company in the world is not retarded and that's why they have offices. <laughs> and really the reason why like comes down to one, being able to uh, manage the people in your team that need to have a high skill set properly, right? So people in your team that have a high skill set, they need to be managed a different way than maybe someone doing support or doing someone uh, or someone doing like some sort of automated task uh, that um, in which you have like very specific KPIs to measure them by, if that makes any sense. Another thing is that um, you want to build like a company culture, like you want to have people around you that are all shooting towards a common goal and that like are all pumped to do it and and there's it's hard to do that if everybody's like in their own little world as opposed to if they're able to kind of disconnect from their day-to-day -day life every day for a while and and come and be in this kind of office to summarize it it's a good idea to get an office, get an office. <laughs> and not a waste of money and another thing that was interesting and i guess this is not only with getting an office but just growing in general is how your responsibility as the business owner changes. Like before, I used to be just like a doer. And in my mind, that became what product, what being productive is, which is doing that, like working a lot. But when you have a team, your role changes where now you need to put people in the right positions and you're gonna be doing less doing and more like conducting. Like imagine, there's like a freaking, uh, I don't know, like a symphony or something like is that, like an orchestra, an orchestra. Yes. Yeah. So imagine there's like an orchestra. You go from being like a the person playing all the instruments to like being the freaking conductor <laughs> of like the orchestra. Oh, like that long wow, that was, suit thing. Yeah. <laughs> we really have the like real strong prison vibes. No <laughs> outside. This is how you. No, sue, this sue, is how sue. I actually make money. <laughs> We have some decor, <laughs> aka the wheels of my car. I like it. This is my desk. That's another desk. That's another <laughs> desk. And that's another desk. <laughs> what a great tour. All right, so this is Santi. Up, he, um, he does like everything here, like support, Amazon, ecom. We broke his elbow. Before he started working with us, he had two fully functional elbows. <laughs> Three, then we took a trip to Dubai and he flipped a buggy. This is Ricky. <laughs> He runs shit here and he's the, a developer, does everything. This is Kevin, he develops and he has a really big dog. Like a really <laughs> big dog. <laughs> so it's two floors. Um, as you can see, like I bought this right here. 
Just that. Just that. <laughs> this is a bathroom which we're thinking about renting out as an efficiency because it's so fucking big. Cuban I'll take guy. it. <laughs> Liam's gonna live here. And as you can see, like all we store around here are like just car parts. <laughs> Fridge to it. It's like MTV Cribs. As you can see we only have water. Can't afford. And we're low on water. Actually. Here's our our inventory of water. This is a snack cabinet which is really struggling right now. Really struggling. This is our couch. couch. No one can sit on. Because it's full of shit. This is our table which no one can use. Everything's like a story. We're planning on renting this out as well, but again, right now it's just another storage. Um, yeah, there's a lot of TV boxes, and basically what we, what I wanted to do here was to have kind of like a studio to create content and all that stuff. So I basically bought six TVs, and we built like this video wall in the back. We still have to finish the back wall, lights, stuff. So we're gonna be recording like a lot of content here, a lot of podcasts, stuff like that. Again unfinished like the rest of the office <laughs> uh we put kind of this surrounding thing here to kind of help with the sound bouncing because it was very echoey um and yeah we have a balcony there and that's about it <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so there you have it we still have a lot of things to do to it but it's pretty good i mean my favorite part is that people get to sit there and freaking work which is awesome <laughs> And people, including myself too, you know, it's it's funny because Liam is like, like maybe we'll do some videos some days where you could just like go out and uh, or or your day to day life, whatever. I'm like Liam, like the reality about being an entrepreneur is that there's a lot of freaking work and a lot of it is like not sexy. Like if you look at my day to day life, like I'm waking up in the morning, like going to the gym, maybe having breakfast, a lot of the times not, and then just going to the office and like working. You know what I mean? Kind of, kind of sexy. Yeah, which is like super hot. <laughs> and then on Instagram, you see like the cars and all these things. And yes, that's only a byproduct of all of the work. But the reality is that 99% of the time is spent working. So what we're trying to do is figure out a lot of different ways to give you guys as much value and content as possible, while also being real about the fact that, hey, like it's a lot of work. Like it's not just like, let's go drive a Land Rover. Let's go do all this stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit a like down below. Hit a subscribe and let me know what other type of videos you want to see.